Hey guys, it's Lynn Pratt. Thanks so much for joining me to paint this fun little Valentine's Day painting. Now I am doing this as eight by eight, but you can size this up or down. You can make it a large print to go on your wall, or you can size it down to a card size and just use it like that. I am using Stonehenge black watercolor paper. This stuff is amazing and I'm actually painting with gouache today. So what I'm using is Holbein Artist Gouache, the traditional colors of Japan, the Iridori series. I am using pale coral. You can see it on my palette here. I am using white, safflower red, and scarlet. And then I just have one of my reds mixed with white but you can do this in tones of red, you can do it in tones of purple, blues, whatever colors you wanna use. You do not have to use these colors at all. You can totally make it your own with whatever colors the person you're giving it to likes. But it is gouache paint, not watercolor, and that way it will show up so nicely on this Stonehenge black watercolor paper. I am using my Holbein Gold Round Size 6, but you can use whatever color you would like. Remember, if you size it up or down, you know, you could use a bigger or smaller brush just so you can get neatly within your lines. I'm going to start by painting the I and the U. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my white paint for those. And again, this is gouache paint. So remember, gouache is a watercolor paint. It's just opaque. So it kind of looks and acts like acrylic, except just like watercolor, you can re-wet it at any time. So where you normally would use acrylic paint so that you have that nice paint that you can layer and put over each other, you can do the same with gouache, but it's never gonna dry out in your palette. And once it does dry a little bit, all you have to do is add a little bit more water to it to re-wet it. So you can see, I'm just gonna take my time on this. I'll outline my shapes first because it's a small area and I don't have to worry about, you know, blooms and things like that. Just make sure that I have that nice point on the brush so that I can get those shapes just outlined really nice, nice and crisp and even. Now, of course, you can make this your own. If that is not your style of painting, you can easily just come in and make it a little bit more abstract, a little bit more uneven. However, whatever style you would like, make sure if you post these online, you tag me so I can see how you did it, what colors you used, what styles you used, everything like that. I always love to see everybody's work or what how you make what I post your own. That's one of the best parts of teaching, is seeing how everybody else transformed it into their own style. But you can see even when I'm doing something simple, I'm just going through and just making sure I have those edges perfect. Now, if I wasn't filming, I would probably turn my paper around so that I could use the point of my brush, but I don't want to make you guys dizzy and flip my painting all over the place. So you can see I'm just going in carefully and I'll finish up outlining and putting those letters all in white. Now I'm ready to paint the hearts. Now remember, you can do these in whatever color, style, anything like that you want to. You can put more than one color into each heart, blend them however you would like. So I'm gonna kind of play around with it. So I'm gonna come in, I have my safflo safflower red gouache here, which is my nice deep red. So I'm gonna do this first one in this nice deep red. And I'm just gonna paint it as just a nice flat wash of color and really be careful around those edges. Now you can make this a little bit more three-dimensional, especially if you're making this as a larger print, you might wanna do that. 
where the edges are darker, it gets a little bit lighter as it goes into the center, and then you can add a highlight on the top. So I think I'm gonna paint all mine flat, but then just add little highlights on the top in the end. So I'm gonna go through and kind of skip around because I wanna to try to make it so I don't have two colors the same next to each other so that I don't have two red hearts, right top or bottom kind of thing. So I'll paint this one red and then I can skip over to this one and paint this one red and kind of just skip around. So I have four different colors and then also the white. Well, three colors, but one of the red I mixed to white to get that nice light pink. So remember you can use, you can make all of these hearts exactly the same color. You can make them all different colors, totally up to you to make it your own. But I'm just gonna skip around and just carefully fill in all the hearts with color. All of my colors are in. As I got a little closer, I had two that were too close together. So I just added, you know, just mix some of my colors on the palette to come up with another color to add in, or you can just add another tube color, however you'd like to do it. Now you'll see as some dry, they might not be as opaque as I want them to be, um, depending on the opacity of the gouache per color that you're using. Some might be more opaque than others. So for some of these, I will just come on and simply put a second coat once it's dry to really amp up that color and get that to be super nice and bright. So just like watercolor, you can layer the gouache to add more opaqueness to make it show up on that black paper more. As you can see, I have all of my hearts painted in now. The ones that I needed to go over a second time, I did. So everything is super opaque on that black paper. I absolutely love it. Remember, you can just keep mixing and ma matching whatever paints you have on your palette to come up with as many colors as you would like. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this, what colors you make it in, what mediums you do it in, what kind of paper, anything like that. Um, so make sure you tag me in it so I can see what you do. Thanks so much for joining me in this fun little Valentine's Day tutorial. Let's paint.